Now, you don't have to be George Clooney to own a nice property overlooking Lake Como. Today, I'm going to show you a number of reasonably priced properties in various parts of the lake and show you why, as I said, you don't need really an arm and a leg to buy a property here. Now, the first place I'm going to show you on the lake is a place called Mandelo del Lario. Now, this place is a lovely place. It's um, a small town with a population of 10,000 people. And it is actually a fully functioning town with some lovely churches, sanctuaries, and it's actually got a good motor industry as well. And the great thing about it is that it's only about just under an hour from Milan by train, and you'll pay five euros 60 to get from Mil Milano Centrale to this place on the lake. I'm going to show you a property for 180,000 euros, but it's quite big at 96 square meters and with a view of the lake. So let's take a look inside. So there you have it, the balcony with a lake view, terrace again, kitchen, a lovely kitchen. You go out and you're on the terrace with the view. Again, that's the living area, living area, living area. And you can see the lake from there. Again, the living area, living area again. There's quite a few of these, but it is actually really nice here. It's a lovely, lovely apartment, kitchen. Um, and the condominium is not too bad, 42 euros a month. Um, there you have bedroom, bedroom, another bedroom there. Very nice. And the bathroom, uh, not too bad. And there you have the entrance to the place. So really, um, as you can see, 180,000 euros isn't too bad for a place on the lake. Um, it's not the city of Como. I fully get that. Some people would like to buy in the city of Como and it's uh, much more expensive. And there are, for example, Chernobyl is more expensive as well. I think at an average of 4,200 euros per square meter. But here, prices are much more reasonable and it's easy to get to as well. So again, if you're looking for something that you don't necessarily need a lake view, I've shown you something here. Um, very reasonable 180,000 euros but you can get it for a lot less if you don't go for a lake view but I'm today I'm only choosing properties with lake views now the second property I'm going to show you here is unbelievably cheap so it's one bedroom um, but a big one bedroom 87 square meters 90,000 euros and it's not too far from um Bellagio, which um, is quite a nice place as well. It's not as easy to get to um, because you actually from Como, you, you can get there by car obviously, but there's no train service here and you need, um, you probably need a car or a taxi. But nevertheless, um, uh, the value for money here is tremendous. It's on the fourth floor with a lift and I'll quickly show you the apartment. So there we are, the outside. Uh, there you can see the lake. It's not as good a view as the first one, but still a very long terrace. Um, there's the entrance, the living area, living area again, which is, it's a big living room. As you can see, um, again, kitchen, you can eat in the kitchen, uh, quite long, but not bad. And the bedroom. And just think, um, you can actually... I just wanted to show you, although this place is not as easy to get to, you could actually own a property overlooking Lake Como for less than a hundred thousand euros. I'll repeat that, less than a hundred thousand euros. And it's 87 square meters. Admittedly, it's a one bedroom, but nevertheless, it is amazing value for money. So let's just show you a third property here. And this is um, Bellagio again. It's um, near Bellagio, which again is a lovely place. And this one is, um, let's just see, uh, two bedrooms. Um, it's 97 square meters. Um, it's actually Chivinda, which is near Bellagio. You need, uh, it's about two or three kilometers from Bellagio. So you might need to get a, a taxi from Bellagio. But it, uh, for those of you who are quite fit, it is within walking distance. But again, this is an amazing place. Uh, 97 square meters, two bedroom flat, 
uh, amazing views. So that those are the views of the lake. That's the actual building. It's a very nice apartment block as well. There, look again, and it gives you the various uh, pictures of the apartment block. There you can see you've got the lake view with a long terrace and you've got the living area again um kitchen there's the kitchen bathroom uh, it's actually got two i think it's got two bathrooms actually um which is very very uh, handy indeed uh and then your bedrooms uh i think that's been done for a child but obviously you can you know do it up yourself if it's uh, if you don't need a, a particular bedroom for a child but again the views are tremendous and it's under 150,000 euros um, two bedroom flat that's pretty good value for money i have to say now the now we're coming to a place called and i'm going to show you two or three apartments from here as well bellano now bellano is also a lovely place and also it's very very easy to get to from Milan so it's about an hour and 10 minutes from Milan by train um, and it's only uh, seven euros um, so again uh, we're looking at what I think is the best property 139 square meters for 248,000 euros now this is definitely the most expensive property I'm going to show you because it's nearly a quarter of a million euros that said the size is absolutely big at 139 square meters I'm going to have a quick look down and see it's two bedrooms uh, two bathrooms kitchen 45 euros a month um, and it actually has a garage as well so looking down it has a garage 45 euros a month which isn't too bad for the condominium built in 2005 and it's in very very good condition um, so this is not going to be the center of Bellano um, Bonzeno to get to Bellano from um, to, to Bonzeno from Bellano is about two and a half kilometers so it is a bit of a walk or you can get a taxi or bus but nevertheless to get to Bellano itself is incredibly easy it's an hour and nine minutes I think by train from Milan so this is a good place let's have a look inside now that is one hell of a view and one hell of a terrace I think this is the best one of the lot um, the living area kitchen kitchen again living area there's again the terrace with an amazing view absolutely amazing view that's the first bathroom again the balcony there another vista there that's the second bathroom um, now we're coming to the bedrooms and again from the bedrooms I think you can also have a good view uh, there obviously that's the selling point is the view bedroom bedroom and that I want to show you again that the view of the lake from this one is absolutely incredible and this is the best property of the lot but it obviously is the most expensive but I want to show you um, some other properties in Bellano before we finish the video so this one is very good value for money 75 square meters 128,000 euros let me have a look I think it's two bedrooms one bathroom one kitchen on the second floor 50 euros a month uh, condominium charge um, also it's good condition and it has a garage very good very very useful uh, let's look inside again that's a terrace with the um, the view of the lake uh, the view of the lake again uh, living area living area um, that's the kitchen needs a bit of doing up uh, living area living area um, let's go to the terrace again with a lovely view of the lake uh, that's a single bedroom or well, I think in in London that would be a double um, and it's actually um, that's the bathroom there's some nice gardens around here as well so it's pretty green and that's the building itself and that's a, um, a private garden I think for the residents so again that's incredibly cheap um, 128,000 euros 75 square meters that is not bad at all so let's have a look at the next one and I think this is the final one now this is in Bellano itself um, so right smack in the center about 13 meters from the lake um, it's 137 square meters but the disadvantage here is on the third floor with no lift 
But that said, you are looking at less than a thousand euros per square meter. So it's a big, big, big flat. And the building is quite nice outside uh, as well. View of the lake, not so clear, but nevertheless, it's still a view. Um, that was the living area there. You can see the various bits and pieces from the corridor, the lake, the balcony. Uh, again, that's a bedroom where you can see the um, the lake. Uh, from the bathroom, you can see the lake as well, which is um, quite a bonus too. Another uh, room with lake view. And again, that's a picture of the actual apartment block itself. Uh, another view of the lake and another view of the apartment block. So these are lovely, lovely places. Uh, as I've said, you don't need to be George Clooney to buy a nice place overlooking the lake. But let's now have a look at it from an investment point of view or a lifestyle purchase point of view. Well, I've always said Italy is very much a lifestyle purchase point of view, but you can do Airbnb here and get quite a bit of money, although you'll be limited in the number of months you can really rent out your property for Airbnb purposes. It's not for long term rent here, absolutely not. Airbnb you can do, but your months are probably going to be limited from about May to September because the weather in the north of Italy is not as good, obviously, as the south and even April can be, you can get some showers in the north and you're not going to get too much Airbnb. So of the three, you may ask, where would you buy and for what purposes? I think the cheapest ones I've showed you um, are in um, uh, near Bellagio. Uh, and there, I think that's more for a lifestyle. It may be a bit difficult for somebody who wants to get to the lake without a train going there. But the other two, you can do Airbnb. So Mandelo del Lario, where I showed you the first property, and Bellano, um, again, where I've showed you the last three or four properties, you can get there by train. And it's fairly straightforward for somebody who's coming, if you're doing Airbnb and somebody without transport wants to get there and stay there for a, a week or so, you can get about. Anyway, that's it for today. I'd love to know your thoughts on um, Lake Como. Have you thought about buying here? Uh, your comments as ever are much appreciated and I will see you very soon on the next video.